Okay, thanks for tuning in, guys and gals. Um, this is actually a really quick review because I know I'm going to forget uh, to talk about something uh, if I don't do it right now. So, uh, my fiance is not here. There's going to be no fancy editing. Um, you're going to hear my ums and that type of stuff. And so, uh, I do want to talk about this great uh, prop, but... There's one thing about it that absolutely drives me bonkers, and uh, I'll go over that here in just a moment, but it's the Devil's Bandana. Uh, it's the old Devil's Hanky made in a more traditional, there that goes, bandana style look, okay? And I wish you could reach through the screen and feel this material. It feels wonderful, and it is incredibly uh, well made. So, uh, you've got a very nice prop, and you've got uh, actually buttons sewn into two corners that help you keep track of the secret. I'm sure most of you know what the secret is, okay? Uh, but, uh, essentially, the buttons help uh, you keep track of a secret area, okay? And, uh, but that, that's, I really don't have much to say about this it's a classic accessory or or um, utility item right to vanish or produce things or even switch things and the price point point on it is is what some might consider a little high uh, it's thirty dollars but it's really nicely made and for the most part I think anybody would be proud to own it, but there's one thing y'all need to know. I'm going to actually pause the camera here and set it up so you can see what it looks like with backlighting. This is not a thick material. It's not quite silk, not quite rayon. Um, I don't know, maybe something um, satin-ish. I don't know, but it's very nice. It's also kind of thin. So... Lighting has to be hitting it from the front. If lighting is hitting it from the back, they're going to see things you don't want them to see. So I'm going to give you a peek of that here real quick. Okay, see if you can see this. You see that? I'm guessing you do. Do you see a shadow type thing, right? Now, as long if light's hitting it from the front, you won't see that. But from the back, uh, when there's lighting behind it or, you know, if it's backlit, you're going to see things like that. But, um, so it's very well made. For the most part, I recommend it. I mean, if you have a use for a devil's hank, and don't just think this is for birthday party magicians and things like that. Uh, I'm actually going to be using it um, as a holdout for a jumbo coin in the course of the old matrix routine just like taught in mark wilson's course right with two cards four coins on a bandana etc etc uh, so you can use it in close-up also if, if you get a little bit creative uh, so what's my issue with it well here's the thing you've got this really lovely prop and it's well made i think fairly reasonably uh, <laughs> reasonably priced uh, considering the quality it's uh, made in and even just the little extra things like the buttons and uh, things like that but why do magic manufacturers do this okay you've got this completely innocuous looking item right a kind of traditional bandana look right you got a bandana you're going to do magic on it or use it to dump something in, etc., etc. So, hey, let's take this normal looking item and slap some bunny rabbits and top hats and card suits. Uh, and they're even in chased order for crying out loud. Not that that, not that a layman would ever know what the heck that means. I, that's actually kind of cute that they did that. <laughs> cute, but annoying, right? They could have done any kind of neat little design, but no, let's make it look like a freaking magic prop. That being said, um, I have this theory that I haven't tested yet. Realistically, in the course of a performance, uh, 
I don't think, I mean, other than the suits, I actually really don't like that, although that might come in handy for card effect. But the average person probably is not going to pay that much attention to the graphics, but why? Why make this great item, produce it well, price it well, and then make it look all magic-y? I don't get it. All right? So, uh, I really like it a lot. And I just wanted to talk about it real quick. This is a real quick review. And I just, uh, for people that create magic props, um, I'm not against using magic-y looking stuff, right? I'll pull out a money maker or shoot, anytime we pull out sponges or an Okito box. Those are kind of weird magic-y things. However, when you pull out what's supposed to be a regular bandana and it's got bunny rabbits and top hats on it, kind of tips off that it's probably a magic prop when you don't want it to uh, be suspected as such, all right? And then I'm going to just give you all a quick little peek at a couple things I'm excited about that are up and coming. Um, a couple review items I've got here. Uh, I've got Frost, which is really a neat uh, alternative to mental photography. In fact, the only really good alternative to it I've seen, despite the number of uh, releases trying, and uh, catch i'm gonna have fun reviewing that one wow three i wanted to see if the quality was as much better as they claim and of course i'll be doing uh well, i don't have it in yet but i'll be doing a comparison between the traveler the fps coin wallet which i'm stretching out right now if you can't tell and the pocket portal from illusionist i'll be doing a three-way comparison here in a couple weeks and um, that, that's pretty much it. I did want to explain I will be re-uploading my review of the FPS coin wallet. Okay. Um, I made an early judgment call on the brown FPS wallet and something I considered a problem. Um, but Brent Braun was kind enough to show and prove to everybody that uh, honestly the problem was me. Right. I tend to have a... Uh, really kind of aggressive way of dumping coins out and that was having a big impact on things and part of it i do that because i like just the way that it looks when the coins just oops, slide out right and they're all in a row um but i'm gonna give the brown fps another shot i'll re-edit that footage or actually my fiance will and then i'll re-upload that review after i test it out okay uh, so that's about it. Um, if you have any use for a, a devil's hanky, this devil's bandana is good as long as uh, you can control a backlighting situation. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry about the informal uh, nature of all this, but um, I look forward to doing more reviews for y'all. And uh, peace out.